Run. The plans for next season then, is the plan next year, is it the well, same I think, plan? I, th I think the, the plan of last year to recruit, to have a team that can do the business at the highest levels of the game is still the plan. Absolutely. Uh, so, so Brian's very active and can tell you more about the things that he's, he's doing there. But I, I, I think what we've noticed this year is we, I think we've reached a, a different level on the field in terms of the team environment that we've kind of got under you know, a great footballing department. So actually most Super League fans or clubs that I speak to will say, oh, you'd be bringing in a lot more new players and this, that and the other. Well, I, we're not, we haven't got that mindset. We've got a good team. As Brian said earlier, it's a team that will be able to perform at the high, highest level. I'm not saying there won't be some additions, but um, you know, we've worked really hard culturally on getting the right team ethos this year. That's what I've seen as an outsider looking in. So we don't have to kind of make fundamental changes to where we are. On the commercial side, we just need to maintain the momentum. I, I think, you know, I look back at this year and see in terms of rugby league clubs in the UK, we're the most broadcast uh, club playing in the British League this year. So, but there's no point in kind of building up that profile of 100,000 people watching you every week, not just in the UK, but Canada, the US, Australia, uh, the Far East. We, we have to then make the most of that profile and that will mean some big name sponsors coming in, which will, you know, make this a sustainable model to hopefully give the investment group, you, you know, the thing they always wanted. They wanted this to be a sustainable model within five years and Super League status will certainly not do that any harm. Uh, and it's important we recognise we still have to make headlines off the field, so we do have to augment our squad. We did this year and we supplemented them with what I think been outstanding contributors this year. We have to keep promoting headlines and so I can only probably reinforce my argument by saying I read an article, I think it was in the New York Times or something, and they were interviewing the owner of Major League Soccer in America and he says, what's your two biggest decisions you've ever made? Impacting MLS. And he said, too, quite clearly the signing of David Beckham. So people want to see stars. Super League wants to see stars, so want to see headlines. My God, this person's come X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Beckham went to MLS. What's he doing? And these problems <laughs> yeah, be right. Yeah. And interestingly enough, the second biggest decision he said he ever made was allowing Toronto into um, the MLS. He says the impact that Toronto FC has made upon their division in relation to eyeballs and new fans and Canada and all of that has been massive. So we're, we're in, in my mind, we're in pole position. We're in, we're in the competition. We're creating all of these headlines. Mm -hmm. It's for everybody to make good decisions. I'm talking about the game and commercially and things like that. I think we're a platform that, that everybody should be looking at.